why I mentioned the 1992 Blue Jays. Who remembers the name Roberto Alomar? We're here at the 61st London Sports Celebrity Dinner and Auction, a major fundraiser for the Thames Valley Children's Centre. All sorts of stars are here tonight, stars that include national soccer team player Shalina Zadorsky, former uh, Toronto Blue Jay and Hall of Famer Robbie Alomar. We have Brett the Hitman Hart, and of course we have NHL former tough guy, and who will say that he's still a tough guy, John Scott. Now, John Scott is going to address some of the kids here to talk about how important it is to never give up on your dreams and to work as hard as you can. I'm not your prototypical NHL guy. I had to work my way to get there and I didn't really take the easy way. No one really handed anything to me and if I didn't work and claw and scratch and to get where I was, I wouldn't have gotten there. I think these kids already have it figured out. They're obviously really well in athletics and they got to step up on a lot of people. So just use their natural gifts and you know they'll, they'll go far in life. John Scott, of course, was known as being an NHL tough guy, but his last year, he made the headlines for something totally different. His popularity shot through the roof, especially when he was voted to the NHL All-Star Game. Even he found that difficult to believe. The result of that, of course, is continuing fame now that he has retired. There's a movie deal in the works, and he's written a book about it. So, former tough guy, now going to be a movie star maybe, and certainly an author, John Scott, who says that dreams don't come true. I was just a regular hockey player and I thought I was gonna you know have my career and that's it but obviously the my last season something kind of remarkable happened and so I got approached to do a book and I wrote it and I think it's you know a pretty good book and then the movie came along as well so the dinner and auction will be held tonight here at Western Fair Sports Center they expect somewhere around seven eight hundred people and again the proceeds will go to the Thames Valley Children's Center for Post Media I'm Morris Delacosta